Alrighty, this is a quick comparison video to show you the difference between the standard Commodore Kernel ROM and the Jiffy DOS ROM. Uh, yeah, uh, if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I installed a Jiffy DOS chip into my Commodore 64, and basically it just acts as a a fast loader. Um, you'll have to apologize. I will have to apologize for the flickering screen. Just using a standard CRT television. So as you can see here at the top there, we have the standard Commodore Basic uh, loaded here, and this will be uh, loading from my SD to IEC device. So we will search for. The first program on the disk or on the IEC device. As far as the Commodore is aware, it's looking for a floppy disk. So you will see it takes about five seconds before it says it's ready. So this is the uh, browser for the SD device. So it takes about 5 seconds to load that up. If we go to games, I'm going to uh, use the same game here. So I'm going to use uh, Cybernoid 2 as an example. So when I hit return here, I will start a timer. And this is again with the standard Commodore ROM. So I hit return now. Okay, you'll see that took about a minute and a half. Um, from this point on, everything else takes the same speed. It's really just uh, increases the speed loading uh, with the Jiffy DOS. It doesn't uh, speed up the Commodore in any way. It just speeds up the input. Uh, so, um, that's... Uh, Cybernoid loaded in the memory basically so we'll just use that f uh, first loading screen there as our uh, timer point basically so it will turn off the computer flick over the switch to turn on the Jiffy DOS and you'll see at the top of the screen there it now says Jiffy DOS 6.1 so We'll do the same again, we'll load our browser program from the SD card and even here you'll see this is uh, pretty much instantaneous here once I hit return and it's ready okay. already uh, so down to games again sort them alphabetically and Go to Cybernoid 2 
And again, I'll start a timer here. So, <laughs> you can see there's a, a major difference there. Uh, that took not even 10 seconds to load, probably. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really impressed by the Jeffrey Doss chip. I highly recommend it for anyone. Um, some Commodore 64s, you will need to unsolder your uh, kernel ROM. Mine luckily was socketed, so it was just a matter of putting the chip out and popping the Jeffy DOS in. But some of them are soldered in, so obviously it's going to be a lot more work to fit the Jeffy DOS into one of those. But that's it, guys, just a quick comparison there of uh, the standard kernel ROM compared to the new Jeffy DOS. And uh, it's like night and day. It's more than 10 times faster. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.